Welcome to this instructional video for the Dave Smith Instruments Profit 12 Editor from SoundTower. In this video, we'll check out the sound generators. SoundTower has created a collection of tools for the Profit 12 that makes creating new sounds fun and surprising. Under Sound Generator in the menu are three sound development tools, Program Genetics, Morpher, and Patch Maker. We'll look at Program Genetics first. As the name might imply, the analogy of family will be used. Let's look at the elements on the page. At the very top of the page, you will notice a set of buttons labeled Mix, Morph, Mutate, and Random. More on these in a moment. Below that and on the left, we have two sets of bank selectors with a mommy and daddy list of patches. As with the librarian, we can select any bank of patches for either the mommy or daddy list. So the analogy is this. We pick a mommy patch. This is the starting point. We then select a daddy patch. Then we click on one of the four blending buttons at the top. Mix, Morph, Mutate, and Random have different algorithms for combining the parameters. This will generate a list of 99 genetically related patches in the kids column. Here's what happens when you hit the four blending buttons. Mix, as the name suggests, mixes up parameters, some from mom and some from dad. This is a random parameter generator, and this can be seen by selecting two patches and clicking mix a number of times. Each time mix is clicked, the names of the kids change. Clearly, with any of the blending modes, because of the random factor of the new patch generation, many sounds may be unusable for many genres of music, but perhaps perfect for some sound design and other uses. We'll try picking two patches, Make some kids, well, you know. Push the button and have a listen. I'll try a few here and see what happens. But before I do that, I'll introduce the principle of top offspring. This is a column where you can take the generated patches you like and separate them from the rest for further filing or processing. Just click this button to move them over to the top offspring column. Okay, here we go. Okay, so let's uh, pick a couple patches here to start with. We'll start with this on mommy, and this on the daddy side, and we'll try mix, and let's see what happens. Nice. We'll save that one. That's also nice. Nice top end on that. Very nice. Keep trying a couple more. Let's jump down a little ways. That's nice. That's very nice. Again, nice. Excellent. Some real nice combinations with these two. Let's hit mix again here, and we'll get another round of uh, sounds. Nice. A lot of the sounds are quite related. That's a little different. Let's throw that in. So that's what Mix does for you. Just a small point. If you want to be able to hear your sounds, be sure the auto audition is checked. And don't forget, we are just sending data to the buffer, so nothing will be saved to the Prophet 12 while we are auditioning sounds. This area in the center allows us to save general or specific parameters of the mommy patch that we don't want changed. As an example, if I like the sound of the oscillators, I could click all of these buttons and the oscillators of the mummy patch will stay the same. Because the filter is going to be mixed, the sound may still change very dramatically. However, the values of the oscillator parameters will not be adjusted. As you can see by the list to the far right hand side, if we just click oscillator 1, there are a number of parameters that make up oscillator 1. We can, if we wish, work right down to the smallest detail of which parameters on the Profit 12 will be modified when we generate new patches. Let's see how that affects our results. 
We'll pick these, select these patches again, and take out the oscillators. Hit mix. So the oscillators for the mummy patch will stay the same. And we'll just change the other uh, parameters. Nice sweep on that. Nice dirt. With the oscillators staying common, that uh, the changes aren't as drastic, but there's uh, some other things going on. Let's keep that one. And that's what happens with uh, keeping some of the parameters the same. Let's move on to Morph. Morph works in the same way, but creates patches with a different algorithm. Each parameter just moves in a predetermined manner from one patch to the next. You will notice that successive clicks on the Morph button do not change the names or the sounds of the kids. Let's see if we can find anything fun this time. So this is Morph. We'll use the same patches so that we can see the difference between the two. So as you can hear, there's kind of a uh, kind of a steady progression as we move down the line here. That's nice. And don't forget with morph, clicking the morph button a number of times will not change the collection of sounds. Those are those are fixed. Mutate. Same thing, but again, different results. There's a secret sauce thing that goes on on this that no one's really talking about. Again, random with each click. Let's have a listen. Again, we'll start with the same two sounds. That's a nice sweep. Nice. Nice one there. That's nice clean sound there. Let's hit mutate again and see what we get. Similar. Let's pick another sound. Let's go with this one and hit mutate. That's nice. That's nice. That's cool. And that's what mutate does for you. And finally, random. Same process, but completely different method of blending. These sounds tend to be a little less musical, but you just never know. Let's see what we can find in a couple rounds. Let's go back to the same two sounds again as the starting place. Now these will be a little less musical. Clearly. Let's try another couple sounds here. That's kind of cool. Nice build. Interesting ambience. Let's change again. Try this one. Let's save that. Interesting. That's kind of cool. And that's what random does. Morpher. This sound generator is really fun. 
Again, two columns to select two patches. A slider at the top to move from one generated patch to another, or use the arrows at the ends of the slider path. If you hit a sound you like, you can add it to the lib directly or write it to the Prophet 12. Clicking lib adds the new patch to the right side of the librarian for further librarian tasks, or clicking right presents you with this dialog so you can immediately save the program to a location in the Prophet 12 as well as selecting a category. There's also an XY pad here where you can identify two parameters and tweak them using the XY axis. Let's hop into this generator and see what we can come up with. Let's pick a couple different uh, programs to start with. Let's go with Clean B. And how about Magic Things? Sounds interesting. There's the clean B. Now we'll start morphing uh, over towards magic things and see what happens. This nice variation there, add that. So it appears that these two sounds are in, uh, in different octaves. And as we move towards it, it's uh, transposing up. That's neat. Well, I, we'll have to go and change some uh, key centers, but that's an interesting sound there. Let me write that to the lib. That's nice. Add that to the lib. Nice bell sound. Add that. nice and that's how the morpher generator works the last sound generator is patch maker don't be fooled by this simple interface this can also be a very powerful tool here you simply select a starting patch and all the categories set to the values of that patch from here you can select a set of parameters from any other available patch to generate new and unique sounds. Once you have found a new sound you are happy with, you can click here to change the name and category, and use the buttons here. From here, you can select a set of parameters from any other available patch to generate new and unique sounds. Once you have found a new sound you are happy with, you can click here to change the name and category and use the buttons here to copy the patch you have created over to the library or to write it immediately to the Prophet 12 using the standard dialog to select the location. Once again, there is a bit of luck that goes along with this, so let's see what we can come up with. I'm going to use just one of the many things you can do with Patchmaker. And that's to uh, to change a stacked sound. Let's make sure this is in stack mode. We'll pick uh, this. Please use controls as a start. Take us, which takes us out of stack mode. Let's put it back in stack. Now let's add another layer, a different uh, a different sound. Let's please use controls. Let's pick another sound for the other layer on top of that. What's Snapdragon? Ah, there it is. That's Snapdragon. Start building in the other one. Let's try another one. Let's pick another sound. Interesting top. Not all that musical. Try something else. That's neat. That sushi time is one layer. It's a nice combo. This is a great way to stack up a couple different sounds that you, uh, you may like. That's a little bit dominant. That just wipes out the other sound.
That's nice together. Nice sound. Save that one to the library. And that's, uh, that's Patchmaker. As you can see, we have a collection of generated programs in the top offspring list. If we return to the librarian, we can load this collection into the right side of the librarian and can manage these programs as discussed in the banks and librarian video, such as committing them to the Profit 12 in one of the user banks or to just save them out on the computer for further development at a later time. Please review that presentation for details. There's another way you can collect and save programs you discover and want to keep. Click Command A on the Mac or Control A on the PC and your selection will be saved to a snapshot file right here. The operation of the snapshot feature is discussed in the Profit 12 Menus video. Please refer to that video for the great things you can do with this tool. The Profit 12 Editor is a great way to access all the features and power of this great instrument from Dave Smith. With the addition of the proprietary library and sound generators, SoundTower has created a world-class must-have companion. So reach inside your Profit 12 with the SoundTower Profit 12 Editor. It's so easy.